let me tell you something. This is like a person that lacks character development. Like, if their mama was a hoe, they learned this shit from their mama. And one thing my ex used to love, because it's like, even though I was in a bad environment, seeing some godmothers of mine, some mom friends acting weird, I ain't follow that shit. I like to put strawberry jam on here. And this is why I say, because bro, I seen it too many times. Some of y'all could have seen it too. When you see a man don't got a good relationship with his dad, he acts just like his fucking absent dad. Fucking toxic, hating women, taking the hate on um good women, being toxic to the being good to the toxic ones, and then just have an example that this person could be also on the DL. Like. This is like a person that will watch you like a hawk and watch all the things that you did best so they don't do it so they can act like they're so perfect. Yeah, this is a weirdo. And this is why I said I fucked with Earth Mama and I had to block people that kept showing me that they being weird. I'm seeing my dream car Bentley. Hmm. I'm also hearing God saying my turn. People who have fun doing magic to fuck up your money and wanted you to get out of character and you peeped it, they expose themselves. It's like this spiritual botanic shop where it's like it's like somebody want to get a bad reaction. I, I used to deal with that with my mama. Like, after I helped everybody and I'm like, damn, frustrated about money. And she'll try to trigger me when I'm cleaning and say something, and I'll I'll be like, ooh, and I have to think. I'll be like, are you trying to? And then she'll peep and she'll do this weird thing, like just move and be like, oh shit, people are weird. Like you are literally a celebrity, like, cause only people that like you know how weird and obsessed you gotta be to do a love spell on someone that don't love you, you that to fuck up somebody's money to you. You know how miserable you gotta be just because you don't like their energy or or that they always try to figure out things. And you trying to deem their life or steer it into the point where they do this for this or that for that. Like, there's even people where I didn't believe this reader one time. And it was a collective message where she said somebody was studying you so they could go through everything that you went through so they could get the abundance and luck. That's not how I got it, baby. The native chart that I was born and how I was born and how I was made. And as long as it's me. Like, you know how there's only one R&B princess? There's only one you. And you can't be duplicated. The fuck? This is like somebody who wants you to get mad. Like, oh, my man did this for me. Or my man did that. No one cares. Nobody asks. Like, this is a person that will tell you shit. They feel like if you'll get jealous or you want they man. Like, you got some insecure bitches. My friend has a read. She be watching me. Hi. I'm like, seriously, you got some insecure bitches, bro. Like, that's what a man's supposed to do. That's what my granddaddy raised me to be like, bro. That bird kind of laying close. Like, and I feel like you can't explain it to people. Like, even when I try to explain to a sister that I just block, like, I don't really do much. It's like a garden fair where you like, you just show up, and if people want to do nice things for you, they do. It's like you have people that impress you. It could be even women like, I'll buy this shoe. Oh, my God. Um, I want your number. Do you want anything? Like, men get spoiled, too. Like, confirmation, bro. What I mean by that is, like, let's just say you meet a guy. But this is a, this is not an any ordinary guy. He's good in bed. He's handsome. He gets spoiled by his mom. And he gets spoiled by girls. Like, he had bitches that bought him a playstation 5 he probably don't even use that shit you know make sure he's good sometimes he take advantage sometimes he don't there's somebody thinking of you too and it's somebody you know keep being confident it's irritating someone like i see someone staring at me at my left i ain't gonna even give them a stare like what you looking at because i'm just like i see why they looking at me hmm
And what's weird is like somebody is mad at you because it's like, I just don't know who is this person. Like, I know my friend RP Carl is going to be watching, but it's like somebody thought, well, this is a bitch or a man that liked it you. Thought if I be an asshole, you gonna like me. You gonna you you gonna fuck with me. What? I'm gonna feed the birds. Cause the hash brown saggy anyways. This is like somebody who's like, look at me, look at me. You looking? I'm looking at a weirdo. Yeah, I'm looking. Now I got the like. Now you got my attention. Now what? I'm seeing like circus stuff, the circus. I don't know. Like somebody's just being weird. You feel like Shanene, Chanel. Somebody's gonna get you a Chanel bag this year. It's either you're gonna buy yourself, and if you don't buy yourself, someone's buying it for you by Christmas, before Christmas. Like somebody's gonna like how you're so grateful and, and, and kind. And it's like you're realizing the reason why your skin looks so good and why you are so stress-free and why you look so younger is because you learn from other people's mistakes that they let little shit stress them out. Like, they seen people like you. Don't y'all realize the devil's lying? The devil could only make you feel like they're attacking you and you stay on your prayers and your toes and it's really just showing you all year. All 2024 year was just showing you who's your ops, who not to help, who get mad that you got money? It's like even to the point where look at this bird just walking so happy. Like, I'm going to get this damn hash brown. Like, like some of my friends be like, oh, I don't tell people money if they'll never have the same amount. Of money. I don't tell people shit because some people could be fucking mad at you and jealous of you and think you always had an easy life. Even if you told them that you've been essay, even if you told them that you was in an abusive ass relationship that you had to stay because and you had to plot your escape because this person will literally hunt you down and follow you like an animal like Maroon 5. And like... You had an abusive family. You was never loved. Like, these people don't give a fuck about the trauma. And you could tell because it's like, let's say you're telling your trauma. This is the person that will cut you off as you talking about it and bring theirs up and make you feel like they don't even care about your problems. Like, what is giving? I'm hearing Ganesha. I don't know if that's a fucking deity or, or, or Oshun and Ogun. Baby, double reversal. Okay? Baby, the moment you did that, do that to people, Uno reverse, people gonna get fucked up. You also gonna be having fun dating arcades. You gonna have fun with your person. Like it's nothing about saying this is such a cute Frenchie. I feel like when you do meet your best friend, whether whether they in a, a different state, like her Cali, Nevada, New York, Washington, Georgia. North Carolina. Your friend is going to love you because it's like, even when you get hate comments, you don't get penetrated by it. Like, you don't get bothered by it. Because all your life, you dealt with haters. It's like God made you built for this and you're still enjoying your life. Like, you might even have a celebrity, but it's like, like, it's just like Ari Dijon said, it's a waste of time. Explain to people why you are meant to be rich. I learned once I align myself with wealthiness, even with a sugar daddy or a trick said, like, I'm I'm too expensive. Like, you can have people that date you that, that know you deserve more. And they can only give you what they can. And it's like, that's not what really severed y'all relationship. The person was fucking cheating and, and being disrespectful. Okay? And you wasn't having it. Like, I don't know why people think that you're going to stay and be happy with someone talking to you crazy. But okay. Um, I just saw the cute Frenchy dog. That French dog is probably like ten thousand dollars. I don't know. Like I keep seeing nine eleven. It just gives me like out with the old, in with the new. And it's like you gotta dump them fast. You got to like a karma's trying to think fast, but it's like they don't want to do nice things because they already know that you know that they ain't shit. What are these people is they ain't shit. Like I said, this is twenty twenty four. The year of Aquarius, the year of abundance, 888. Everything will come to you easily. Some of y'all gonna be like, damn, I shifted my mindset at the and I start thinking positive bills is gonna get paid. This is gonna be done. And I see it work out. Why was I thinking this earlier? It's okay, now you know. But it's just like how you see Diddy getting exposed. All people, you now you know who's your friends and who's not. 2025 is gonna be like, I don't give a fuck.